This is a quick little troubleshooting session and it's designed to help you troubleshoot some uh, issues you may have with objects and it will help to reinforce the concept of objects. So we'll bring up our shell here and what we've done is we've defined a list of one, two, three, four, five objects. And if I type my list, we can see we've got the five, um, the five elements in my list. So one of the things that can happen is, uh, or I may want to do, is append something, add another uh, number to that list. So I'm going to use the append method, which can be used with list, and I'm going to try to add the number eight to that list. And when I do that, I get an error. And one of the things is, wow, how come? Because in the book it says that I can use append with list. Well, when you get errors with Python, don't just ignore them. There's always some uh, information in the error message that it can help you track down uh, what's wrong. So here we'll look attribute error, and an attribute is uh, a property. Uh, tuple object has no attribute app, uh, append. So first of all, we're asking ourselves, tuple object, what does that mean? Has no property or method uh, append. Well, sure, lists do have an append object. So what's happening here? Well, one of the things that should draw your attention is tuple object. Well, a list comes from a, a class of lists, and so it should be a list object. So if we did this, if we did a type on anything, even an expression, it will return what type of object it returns, or what class is returned. So if I, for instance, did a type on uh, 3 times 3.4, it's going to evaluate that to a float and it's going to tell me, okay, um, as I evaluate this expression, I'm going to return the answer and the answer is going to be from the class float. So let's look at my list. If we did this with my list, we would see class tuple. Oh, we haven't seen class tuple before. What does that mean? We want to get class list. Well, then we start to look at up here our list and we can see that we've used round brackets and square, square brackets and what happened is it actually created a tuple object not a class and if i look at tuples uh, there's a few things i can do uh, dir command um, lists all the methods that you can use with objects so if i looked at a list for instance I would see these are all the methods here and I can see, yeah, I can use the append method with a list. If I did this with a tuple, and I don't know what a tuple is yet, we haven't covered it, but you could see that oh, there's no append in here, so somehow I've created an append object, or uh, sorry, somehow I've created a tuple object and append is not one of the methods I can use uh, with it. So how I would fix that would simply be making sure I use the square brackets. And now, whoops, so I create a list. Now the type of my list is a list. I'm okay. So now I can use the append to add another item to that and we'll see four is appended. One of the other questions which comes up is, and this introduces this problem, when do I use square brackets and when do I use round brackets? The only time you use square brackets is when you're generating or creating a list or when you're referencing the element of an object. For instance, if I have a string and I want to reference an element of it, maybe the thing at position 2. Remember this position 0, 1, 2, so that should be the V. So if I'm using an index in a string or an index in a list, index 0 of my list, I use a square bracket or if I'm creating a list. So those are the times when I'd use square brackets. Anywhere else I use round brackets here. You'll also 
see that some functions do not uh, take, an, take any what's called arguments. So if I want to reverse the order of the list here, I would use a reversed method. But I get an error if I just type the method name with the list. And I say, well, why is that? Because reverse, if we went back up here, we would see reverse reversed is uh, something I can do. Here it is. Reverse is right here. So how come I get an error? Well, when we use methods, we must use opening and closing brackets. Okay, so now we can reverse it. And now if I type it, there it goes. So that's a little bit on troubleshooting. It introduces a little more about objects, uh, but also more importantly, how do you troubleshoot when you get some errors?